Welcome to my video where I'm going to talk you through how to install the Pimeroni Pico Audio Pack for the Raspberry Pi Pico or Pi Pico. You may have experience already of using a Raspberry Pi and uh, this process is slightly different and when I was looking up how to um, install the software I needed to use a number of different videos and websites so I thought it would be useful if I combined all of the instructions into one video. So in this video I'm going to cover simply how to set up your uh, Raspberry Pi Pico and then install the software for the Pico Audio and then how to play the tunes. So the first thing you need to do is plug in your Pico. So plug it in and you should get some kind of audio um, audio tone and then it will load up like this okay what we want to do is plug it in and hold down the boot select so I'm now pressing the boot select button and I'm now going to plug in the USB and it loads up this window instead now in order to get the Pico audio working you need to use CircuitPython now CircuitPython is available at circuitpython.org all the links for all the software and all the program codes are in the description below so check them out there once we're at circuit python we're going to go to downloads and we are using the pico and we're going to download the file open the folder And then once you're done, you're going to simply drag it over to the Raspberry Pi Pico. And this is going to install then CircuitPython. And it's rebooted and now it has CircuitPython installed. Right, the next thing you need to do then is be able to access the code. Um, you will not be able to do this if you're using Python Idle. Um, the Raspberry Pi uh, Foundation recommend that you use Thony, but you can also use a IDE which is known as Mu, which is quite useful. Again, uh, links to download this are in the description below. Once installed, you're going to load up Mu. And then in the mode, you're going to choose Circuit Python. Don't choose RP2040 because this is for Micro Python, and we are using Circuit Python. So in the mode, make sure you select Circuit Python. Press OK. And if you press the serial button, this will connect. So you can see here, auto reload is on, and now I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico Pi, and I can write a simple code. this and then press save and I want to make sure I'm saving it to my Pico Pi which in my um, my video here is circuit PYD I'm going to call it code save so code is running press any key to enter the RPL press D to reload so I'm and then in order to run it, I'm going to plug it back in again. So unplug it, plug it back in. It's connected. Serial. Save. And you can see there, code's done running. Hello, YouTube. So this program here is running on my Pi Pico. And uh, Obviously, if I haven't got the Pi Pico plugged in, if I unplug it, it says it can't find it. And if I try and save, it says can't find it. So this code is stored and running on my Pi Pico. Plug it in again. You can see there's the code there. Close that. Check on the serial connection. Save it. 
and it's uh, running. So that's now um, your Raspberry Pi set up and it's also set up with CircuitPython so we can have a look at how to uh, install the Pico Audio and also then how to play a sound. Now we're ready then to attach the hardware and the first uh, point to make is to ensure that you solder the pins underneath the Pico. All right. So if you've already bought a, um, a Pi Pico, it's already got the headers fitted, then uh, they should be in the right position. If you are um, headless and you're in store, uh, sorry, if you're soldering the um, pins in, then ensure that you solder them underneath. Uh, I did make the mistake of not soldering them in the correct place. So if you see here, actually um, it shows you on the top of the Pico Audio. So this is looking on the top downwards. The left hand pin is number 40. The underside, so if you turn it upside down, then the left hand pin is number one. So therefore it needs to be mounted underneath. So I can just show you in this video now. Okay, if you head over to the Pimeroni webpage, uh, they will um, give you a link and I'm looking for, where are we? I'm looking for the link that takes you to the Adafruit. There we go. So CircuitPython tutorial, um, we're gonna go to this page, all right. Now scroll down. The first thing you want to start off with is the, uh, well, first thing to say is you don't need to do this because obviously your Pico audio is connected. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go to copy code. And then I'm going to go back to my MU. And I'm going to paste this code in. And then I'm going to make sure I'm connected to the serial. And I'm going to save it. So this should now overwrite my previous code. Now I'll notice that the uh, sound doesn't play. And the reason for this is because of line 17. Line 17 uh, chooses the GPIO pins that are being used to uh, basically play the sound through. And if you check back on the Pimeroni website, it does say that uh, they use a different set of pins. So what you need to do is ensure that these pins match the pins in here. So I go back here, you can either copy and paste them in or you can um, write them in. So this says GPO zero, we actually want 10 and this is 11 and um, nine. So we don't want that line anymore, we want this one. So if your code doesn't play, well sorry, if your program doesn't work and the sound doesn't play, then potentially this is the reason why. So now if we save it, we should get the sound. Not the most interesting noise, but now we know that it is working. You can see there the uh, speaker and it's beeping away nicely. So next you're probably going to want to try and play an mp3 or a WAV file. I'm going to show you how to play uh, an mp3 file. And again, on the uh, Adafruit Industries website, uh, it's got all the code and it's got all of the um, instructions that you need. So we're going to head back there. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to miss the WAV file instructions and go straight to here. Now, same as before, copy the code. Go back to Mew, paste it in. A lot simpler there, a much, much smaller code. Remember that you're gonna to need to change the numbers for line 13 on the audio. So we're gonna go back to Pimeroni. I'm gonna copy this line here. 
and then we're going to add that into line 13 or replace line 13. And then the last thing to do is download this slow MP3. So if I go back to Adafruit and download project bundle, click on that, that will start to download. And then I'm going to simply open this file. And there is the MP3. Copy that. I'm going to go to circuit D and paste it in. You can see it's obviously already there, but yours won't be. So there is the MP3 file. There's the code, which is uh, this one here. <clears throat> and now if I um, press save, Make sure the serial's on. Volume. We've got a noise. So that is your Pico audio setup. And um, I hope you found that uh, useful. Just a couple of points. The um, code is obviously saved onto your PyPico. You can see the code saved here and also the MP3. And if I unplug the Pico, you say it's not attached anymore, press OK. And what I should be able to do now is uh, plug it straight in and it should play. Just gonna plug that back in. There you go, you can see it played. So that's playing straight from the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico via the audio hat, which obviously has a speaker attached so that you can uh, you can hear it. Um, so literally unplugging it, plug it back in, and it will run the code. Excellent. So a couple of things. Uh, remember that we are using CircuitPython. Um, so you need to install that. Uh, don't forget to uh, solder your headers downwards. The Pico Audio Pack fits underneath the Raspberry Pi, not on the top. Um, make sure you do that and uh, that will avoid any, any errors or any electrical faults of it. Uh, I hope you found that useful and helpful and um, let me know how you get on. I'd like to see your projects. I'd like to see what audio you're using. Um, I'm planning on using this in a radio if I can get enough MP3s stored because there's only, I think, one megabyte of memory built into the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. So I'll have to see how many um, MP3s I can get on there and then if I can get them to play at a high enough quality to use on a radio. Okay, thanks very much and uh, have a good day.